So this week's safety toolbox talk is on concrete placement and material handling on one of our projects here in Chicago. We've got a pump set up. It's set up in a bike lane on the outside of the building. So we've got some barricades in the front. Concrete trucks will be backing in from here. He's set up for an elevated slab on the second floor there. And then at the same token, we've got a truck with chutes across the city sidewalk. So we've blocked off the sidewalk at both sides of the canopy so that pedestrians can't get through there. And we're pouring through that canopy and down into a lower basement on a structural slab. What we have here now is we've got our truck set up in the bike lane got a permit for the bike lane and he's shooting with all of the chutes on his truck in addition to a 16 foot chute here to get the material down into the basement to our self-perform concrete team who in turn is wheeling it over here to a structural slab so what we have here is now we're inside the structure you can see the double chutes pouring down into the into the wheelbarrows a full wheelbarrow three quarters full with concrete in it weighs about 300 pounds so these tradesmen these laborers are well versed on the ergonomics of placing concrete the balance required and of course the strength leaning into the barrel so now we're starting all of a sudden to talk about proper ergonomics while placing concrete it's very very physical labor as he comes walking up, we've got a shovel man emptying him out as we place down into our structural slab. A lot to take into consideration when placing concrete like this from outside moving inside. Now when we saw that pump earlier set up out on the street, he's actually going to be placing this upper deck here once the structural deck down below is, is complete. So we'll be pouring this area up here, as you can see all the guardrail systems are in, and that'll be just shovel men up there. The operator will be up there with the joystick around him. So this week, a little talk about our self-performed Berglund team pouring concrete on one of our projects, pre-planning site logistics, the route of entry to get the product in here, how much manpower it's going to take to do it, the safety required doing this, it's very exhausting. And then the logistics of the job site and the permits required. So this week, let's talk a little bit about pre-planning tasks such as this on our job sites, what it takes, how many men, the safety precautions, and then even the quality side. How long does it take to set up in here? You know, what are my means and methods of, of trawling this thing down? Let's have a safe week. Thank you.